And now, sports coverage you can count on with sports director Nolan Knight. Hello from Wallace State Community College where the 2023 Northwest Regional Basketball Tournaments are underway. Tonight, 15 area schools from across the state were competing for a spot in the region final. We'll begin the fun right here in Hansville, where the top ranked 4A team in the state and Westminster Christian were taking on Haleyville and the Lions wasted no time getting on the board. Opening tip and it's a basket right away for Drake James for two of his 16 points today. But if you're going to stop the Wildcats, you have to stop the state's best junior in Chase McCarty. He hits the mid-range jumper and he wouldn't stop there. Later in the first, spot up triple, he would score again high 19 as a part of his double double as Westminster advances to the region final with a 66 49 win over the Lions and the girls for a semi-final the Priceville Bulldogs were in action against JP2 with the region final bid on the line and the Bulldogs came out firing Leslie Haynes getting an early three to go but the Falcons respond Ella Watts with the first quarter three as JP2 would jump out to a first quarter lead. But a 24-point second quarter for the Bulldogs would be the difference. Hames would continue to hit from deep, scoring a team-high 14 points as Priceville advances to the Northwest Region Final with a 58-37 win over the Falcons. Over at Jacksonville State, the Northeast 3A Region Tournament continued and with Geraldine falling to Piedmont, the winners of the matchup between players Plainview and Glencoe would take on the Bulldogs Thursday in the region championship. And this was all Bears. Luke Smith driving the lane to lay it up for the score. Smith would finish with a game-high 20 points. Glencoe had their moments. A smooth dunk here. Andrew Green says, anything you can do, I can do better, though. The two-hand slam. Bears getting it done from long range. Way beyond the college line is Dylan Hammond. He drains it for three as the Bears cruise to a region final with an 83-46 win. The Plainview ladies were also in action, taking on Ohatchee in the 3A Northeast semifinal. First half, Indians' Jordan Crook puts on a show, driving to the lane, lays it up and takes a tumble for the and one. Then later, it's more Crook, another and one. Crook finishes the game with 46 points, but in the second quarter, the Bears got things cooking. Cami Sanders with the inbound steal, and Kate Holgan finishes the score. Sadie Jackson inside who puts it up for the score. Jackson would end the day with 15 points and nine boards as Plainview runs away with this one 74 to 53. In the early winter at Wallace State, the Mars Hill boys were taken on Whitesburg Christian with a matchup against Tanner on the line in the region final. The Warriors impressed early, big three from Williams Pugue, but the Panthers would get hot. Carson Thrasher spots up and connects for three. The Warriors kept it a game in the first half. Nice finish from Isaiah Matthews, but the story of this one was Connor Pig. Four threes and a game high 25 to lead the Panthers to a region final 64-35. Mars Hill advances. As for the Mars Hill ladies, they were taking on Holly Pond with a region final against Sullivan on the line. And Holly Pond hit pretty well from outside today. They would drain five threes, but they didn't have an answer for the seventh grader. Bell Hill, the guard, put on a clinic in the 2A region semifinal, shooting 13 for 15 and scoring 30 points on the way to a double-double as the Mars Hill Panthers advance to the Northwest 2A region final 60-34 over the Broncos. And the fun is just getting started here at Wallace State Community College. Coming up tonight at 10, we have more region basketball fun. Reporting at Wallace State Community College, I'm Nolan Knight, Wait, 31 Sports.